This is Apocrypha. Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel and Skyrim. Okay, so during our visit to White Ridge Barrow, we picked up a black book, The Sallow Regents. In this video, I'll only be doing the Sallow Regent quest, uh, but I've uploaded a full walkthrough on this location. And just a quick FYI, you also pick up the Cyclone Shouts, the Dragon Priest Mask Dukan, and find the Imbuing Chamber where you can make the spider scrolls so i can't recommend enough that you come to this location i'll leave a link to the location walkthrough at the end of this video and in the description i'm going to go a uh, direct route on this so there may be a few odd items that i don't pick up but nothing of any importance is missed uh, i strongly recommend that you get the candlelight tome or at least bring a torch with you okay after we picked up the uh Cyclone Shout, we then grab the Dragon Mask, which is a decent mask actually, increases Frost Resistance by 50% and Frost Spell Damage by 25%, uh, and that's going to be quite good for a build that I'm doing. Okay, so now we go and read uh, the Black Book, uh, now this is going to take us into Hermaeus Mora's realm, and to escape out of that, which I'm going to do at this stage, I want to go and get the Spider Scrolls, all you do is simply read the book and it brings you back into the barrow. You can always come back into um, Hermaeus Remora's um, realm uh, by reading the book again yes, in Selstein. Well, I gave you the Agma Infinium. Your free will is an illusion. Why else would you? This is Apocrypha, where all knowledge is hoarded. Sate to your thirst for knowledge in the endless stacks of my library. If you tire of this hurt, read your book again to return to your mortal life for a time the lure of apocrypha will call you back it is your fate yeah just by coming here and listening to that dialogue starts off uh, the quest so what i'm going to do because in here i'm going to go back so i want to get the spider scrolls and that brings me back into the barrow so anytime you're in solstheim you can read the book and that's going to take you straight back into uh, his realm you simply go into your books and read that <laughs> now i've mentioned in the intro i strongly would uh, recommend you get the um candlelight um tome uh you can have mage light but i found in this case um candlelight is is probably better because uh, the dark areas do a lot of damage to you um, I've got quite high health, reasonably high anyway, and so I can probably get over it. But if you come in at a lower level, it can become problematical. Now, one thing I didn't, I didn't um, think of was actually the glowing spider scrolls. Maybe this is an area where they could be useful. Um, I'm not sure. Give it a go. Yeah, just a quick FYI, I did this um, on my first uh, run through. Normally in my walkthroughs, I actually go two or three times just to check it out. Uh, but this one went fairly smoothly, so I couldn't see the point. Uh, I have, as I probably mentioned, um, uh, missed out a couple of the chests and stuff like that. I'm not particularly bothered by those, nothing major. Just do be careful of the dark uh, patches. Now you can come across a couple of seekers. 
Ah, a decent boat should take care of them. You can see how the darkness disappears. So that candlelight is, 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 is really good in places like this. Watch those things, they uh, hit you with their little tentacles and they do do damage, but you can't kill them. I'll pick up stuff out if it just comes into sight, I'll pick it up. See how the, the darkness does actually quite a lot of damage quite quickly. And you don't get any help in here either. Yeah, it's far off, a bit of mage light. See where we are. Buggers. I don't think hitting them with a mage light is going to do any, any help. <laughs> yeah, good night. Okay, I think uh, we're going to have to go straight on. There's another stick around somewhere. There he is. Take care of him. Oh. There you go. That's those two taken care of. And a speechcraft skill book. Nom nom. Obviously already read that one. A soul gem. A search pod. These can um, give you some quite decent loot, actually. And a spell time to take dead. I already have that, but I'll take it from my library. And a conjure flame atronic scroll. But the secret remains. There you go. So like I say, you can pick up some, uh, yeah, some decent loot. I'm not your big, expensive stuff, but um, decent tomes and scrolls and stuff like that. And there's a lot of these around. I haven't gone for all of them. It's just if I see them, I'll pick them up. around which way do I want to go oh yeah this way okay that's pretty much all the loot in here okay onwards and upwards See all those little eyes following us around. Hermaeus Moore is just watching us. If you can, try and get a sneak attack on these guys. That's a shame he went off because uh, they hold some decent loot. Um, because they're actually quite tough. I'm 
and fast healing. I've got all these anyway, but uh, if you haven't, you, you can get some really good times in here and quite a high level as well. Nope, nothing else. Good as I hoped. There he is, little bugger. Good night. Hmm. Quick look, see if there's anything around here. Okay, and here we are. There's some very decent loads around here, guys, so uh, make sure you grab it all. Uh, frame throw, uh, well, that's a, a very high level uh, tone. Um, not something I'd ever use, but um, some people do. Good one for the library, or you can sell it, or you can use it, whatever you like. Black Soul Gems, there's quite a few of those around. Uh, on these these type of quests. Go on and have a look in the pod. The search a vessel. Okay. Okay, some good books for my library. So I'm happy with that. You guys won't be. <laughs> okay, and I think that's a bit for the loot. So, now the book itself. Now, you're going to be given three options here. Uh, the Seeker of Might, all combat skills are 10% more effective. Uh, that means attack damage 10% greater, blocking 10% better, tempering armor and weapons 10% better, smithing 10% better. Not bad. The Seeker of Shadows, 10% more effective stealth abilities. Modify your armor, 10%, which is quite good. Uh, Pickpocketing chance plus 10. Lock, uh, lockpick sweet spot, uh, plus 10%. Detection sneak skill, uh, plus 10. Alchemy effectiveness, 10% better. Sell price prices, 10% better. And your buy prices, 10% better. Uh, the Seeker of Sorcery, um, this is far more simple. All spells cost 10% less magic as a cast, and enchantments are 10% more powerful. Now, I'm going to go for the Seeker of Sorcery because of the enchanting. However, you can come back here anytime and change your choice. So, for example, if you're doing end game uh, armor, you can come back, get the Seeker of Might, go make your armor, come back, get the Seeker of Sorcery, and then enchant it. Uh, you can come back simply by reading your book anywhere in Soul Slum and it brings you here to the end bit. You don't have to go through the whole lot again. You simply make a choice again, read the book, exit out and carry on. So all in all you pick up some pretty decent um, uh, stuff here. And I'm assuming I can keep the same way by dropping it out of your inventory um, when you want to put it in your library. Okay, that's it. 
Hope you enjoyed it guys, have fun with it. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.